Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com, bringing you another amazing Android home screen tutorial. Today, I'll be featuring this home screen called The Web. Bam! <laughs> wow, what can I say about this screen except it is really, really, really ridiculously good looking. As you can see, it's going for that red grunge effect, really nice, as well as having these square grungy icons that when tapped, brings up anything you need. It's got your music player, it's got your favorite games, bring up your games, it's got your dial or browse, your contacts, anything that you need, as well as all the notifications, bring you on one side, including the time on one side, weather on the other. And as you can see, it's got this little app draw icon, really neat, as well as the energy level at the bottom. That's not my energy level, that's my phone's. All right, this is gonna be an Android tutorial bringing you from your stock Apex launcher all the way to something looking like this. Let us begin. Okay, first thing you wanna do is to go to Gary Arts's Dropbox link at the bottom. Once you have copied this to your phone, it'll include your wallpapers, your blank PNG, your user's, even the font, mad. Oh, and remember to copy it to somewhere where you remember. Do not forget. Okay, once we have that, you wanna install Apex launcher and you want to go into your Apex settings. Next, you want to change all the settings provided over here from your home screen settings as well as your dock settings. Once you have that, you'll want to add in this wallpaper. So you'll go into menu, wallpaper. You'll go quick pick wallpaper. Now remember where you've saved it. Remember it's called the web. Now you've got two to choose from. One that, one that is blank without anything and that will enable you to add in whatever you want. Or you can go choose this one, which is what I have done, and that'll just give you all these nice little information bars on the side. So we'll go save. And as you can see, it doesn't need multi-live wall wallpaper. It just has one screen that looks like two different screens. Magic stuff. Once you have that, we wanna start in by putting in our UCCW widgets, which is our weather and our clock right there, as well as our energy bar at the bottom. So for all of them, you'll want to go hold down and go widgets, let's go all the way to UCCW. Let's start off with this side. We'll want a 4x1 for the weather. Next, you'll want to go open UZIP and you want to find where you have saved it. Remember, don't forget where you saved it and it'll come up as a UZIP. Just tap the UZIP and it'll install automatically and look something similar to this. Maybe a bit smaller, maybe a bit bigger, but always remember you can resize it. Simple as that. For this side, we'll do exactly the same. As you can see for the clock, you need to resize it a little. But don't worry, it'll not interfere, because if you just hold down, you can just send it to back if it gets in the way. Finally, for our one at the bottom, it'll just a, a one by one widget size, and you can just, yeah, it'll fit in perfectly at the bottom. Next, you'll want to add in all these icons. See, by tapping like something, these blocks, it opens up the icons like that. So for that, you'll just push the menu button, or you bring up your app drawer, and choose, say I used, EX File Explorer for my browsing the file and you just place it over, you'll place it over there and you'll hold down, you go edit, you'll tap the icon, go select picture and you'll want to make it a blank icon. So the web luckily has provided us for one and you'll go OK and it disappears. So remember drag it there first and then make it disappear otherwise you'll lose it like I do every single day. So you'll go remove, now you do that for for all of these and for something like a folder just keep on dragging them in like this and then you just hold down the folder go edit and do exactly the same thing awesome stuff last thing is our is our app draw at the bottom here to quickly add it you go apex settings app draw see it is like that but you just go edit and you just change it go quick pick again to the web a little red dots square and as you can see, boom, there it is. Tutorial done, home screen completed. Hope you've enjoyed it, folks. Please remember to subscribe to the My Color Screen channel as there'll be more of these daily videos. Thank you very much, guys.